Hey, Jeremiah, Steps Pressure Washing and More, out here in beautiful Andrew, North Carolina. Uh, it is a bit of a rainy day. We're about 55 degrees, and uh, it's kind of chilly in the uh, in the rain, so we've got uh, the shell on today, keep me a little bit drier until I heat up too much to wear this. Also wearing pants, but hey, that's not what this video is about. This video is about my rig. I had a request to do a little show off on what I use, so... Here it is. Hang on, I'm gonna flip you around. All right, so first and foremost, I use a Pressure Pro Dirt Laser. I got this back in 2020, and this was actually, uh, this came from Lowe's. It was definitely not on the shelf, but I ordered it through the website and it was delivered in store. But this has served me very well. It's got a 14 horsepower engine, which is a little bit stronger than the GX390 that most guys use. i not saying anything wrong with that, but I uh, got a little bit more horsepower there, and I don't know, it just it's really seemed to handle the wear and tear very well. Uh, this is the stock pump that came on it. It's an AR pump, and it is a 4 gallon per minute, 4,000 PSI rated, and uh, that is all depending on, of course, uh, many factors. I'm not delivering that every day, but I'm usually very, very satisfied with the performance of this guy right here, and it has kept up very well. Uh, over here to the right, I have my mix tank. Yes, I do batch mix. I do not have my uh, throttle wide open. I have it uh, throttled down a little bit, so my draw ratio is actually pretty strong. So I have to use a mix tank in order to dilute it down to where it's safe to get onto the house. Uh, I generally carry one or two extra five gallon uh, of just straight SH. And you can kind of see the color difference there between the mix tank and the straight edge SH. It's uh, definitely a stronger yellow. I have my Whisper Wash Ultra Clean. This was an addition this spring. We did start doing a lot of driveways, and I just was tired of using that little Home Depot one. And well, I guess it was Lowe's, uh, but it just uh, it wasn't keeping up. And then one day it just it stopped. I had to wand a driveway, and I said, "No more of that. Let's get a nice one." Um, so this one has definitely made driveways a lot more pleasurable. I will be using that today. Um, I'm gonna go do a fence and a. Uh, concrete patio, so this is going to get broken out for the concrete patio, not the fence. Walking around here, I have my lock box. We added this one this year as well. I just got tired of throwing things in and out of the back of the truck, so these are just some things that I always ride around with. Uh, I have my uh, Husqvarna gutter extensions here. I have some extra inlet hose. I have some pressure hose underneath it, just in case I ever spring a leak. I have my X-Jet uh, pail hose here with the uh, draw tube. Then I have just some various chemicals, you know, for doing gutter brightening, um, you know, a little bit of surfactant. I uh, have my gutter guard brush that we started using lately. Um, just some squeegees, some other brushes, just little stuff here and there to make sure that I have what I need every day while I'm out and about. And then over here, I have my two Cox reels. Uh, I actually just did a video where I had to remount these, but uh, these have been in use since, I want to say early 21. So about two and a half years, and they are still doing very well. Um, I no longer run my pressure through the reel. Uh, I reel this out and then disconnect it from the reel, and then I hook it straight into the... Um, pressure washer that way I'm getting a little bit less back pressure because I do run 200 feet of hose and that does create a back pressure all on its own all right so that is that is it that's my rig uh, I've got a, a lot of hours and a lot of houses under my belt with the just this um, and some of this we've been adding on I've got a buffer tank in the garage right now that we're looking to get plumbed up uh, but I am just, I don't know, falling behind on motivation on that. So uh, hopefully maybe this weekend I can get online and see if I can get that Hudson float valve. All right, well, that's going to do it for my uh, my walk around today. I got to go get some washing done. Probably not going to get any video on it 
uh, just because fences really suck to try and hold the camera while I do, but it's also raining uh, and I don't have a case on my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and put you guys down and hope you all have a great day.